Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. And um, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They do sell my merch. The link for my merch is down in the description below. So guys, feel free to check it out after this video. Um, right, let's start off with the VAR. Um, now if you're a regular viewer of mine, or you're a subscriber, or you know, both or whatever, um, you know I'm a big fan of VAR. And I know it's not going down well with the Premier League at this specific time. Um, yes, I think Aubameyang should have been sent off uh, for the Ar Arsenal game, which he was. But then I also do think Robinson should have been sent off as well for that foul on that Tottenham player who I can't remember who it is. I know it's different and I know he only went half booted, but it's the same similar sort of tackle. Um, my opinions on the VAR, yes it does work in the Premier League. I think it evens the game up a lot more and that's something as far as we have to get used to it. It evens it up so much more that some big clubs might get a big advantage over the smaller clubs. Um, I've listened to something called Talk Sport the other day, and I can't remember who it was. Um, if you do watch this, I do apologise. Um, and he said the trouble is with the Premier League, we shouldn't get rid of the VAR, we should suspend it. And this is where I agree with him on this certain term. And egos, our referees have got such big egos and such think they know it all that it's not working, you know, where it should be working. Um, obviously the MLS kicks off again in March, which I will be watching. I know you, I know uh, you call it whatever you want, but I do like it. And this is how I'm seeing the VAR in the future, but the Premier League have got a long way to go before it hits that standard over here. Um, but yeah, some of you asked about my opinion on the VAR. I think it's working. I don't think the Premier League are using it correctly, mind. I think the on-screen monitor should be used, but then I also think the on-field referee should make the final call. If they can't call it, you know, um, you know, it will have to be discussed. Um, but I think the on-field referee, I also think there should be a time limit on the VAR. Um, I know they did do in the MLS. I know it can take a while to use in the MLS on some decisions. But they get the right call and that's the important thing with this VAR. I don't agree with what the Premier League said a couple of months back where, um, well, it's more than a couple of months, where um, Brighton got a penalty um, against Everton. Um, I do believe it was a penalty. I know some of you first guys disagree with that, but I also think Everton should have had a penalty against Brighton as well. Same similar challenge. I don't agree where they go. The VAR made a mistake. The VAR cannot make a mistake. The VAR is not a Johnny number five. It's not a talking robot. Until you find a talking robot and we get to that technology in what, five, ten years' time, you still want to leave this human factor in there. The basic um, scenario was our referees mucked up big time. So, you fast my opinions on VAR, there it is. Um, but as I said, I think it's working. Can't see it going away, so I'm just trying to get used to it, adapt to the Premier League. But if you fans want to see in the future, watch the MLS um, when it comes back in uh, late February, I do believe. But anyway, guys, that's enough talking about that. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Watford versus Tottenham. Um, Watford beat Bournemouth 3 0 away from home. Um, for the first time ever, Watford are out of the relegation zone. Um, good job that Nigel Pearson has done there. Um, Tottenham losing 1 0 away to Liverpool. 
and a lot of speculation about Christian Eriksen. And the latest I've heard on him is that Inter Milan are interested. Just the price gap's a bit too far from both clubs from agree to deal. But they have signed a new player as well. So I'm expecting Eriksen to leave um, this window. Um, going forward with this game, Spurs are running on one in the last five. And um, very disappointing, I do think. Um, over the past few weeks, um, Watford, as I said, Nigel Pierce has done a great job there. Um, outside the relegation zone for the, for the first time this season, I've only uh, won four games in their last five and joined the other one. But as far as this result goes, I'm going to go back to my dark horses and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Watford win. My next one is Arsenal versus Sheffield United. Arsenal drawing 1-1 away to Palace. Um, a Bamiang suspension in this game as well, as I mentioned in this video. Um, Sheffield United beating West Ham 1-0 at home. Um, and there's another couple of VAR talking points in that game as well. Um, but I ain't got booked down that. This video is going to be long enough. Um, Arsenal... As I said, I think that Bamiyan was a red card. VAR, um, that's where it's proven right. I can see why the referee only gave a booking from where he was standing. Um, but I think, I think a red card was fair. Good job on the VAR. And this is why I like it in the Premier League, because it evens games more up. Um, Sheffield United, only one two in their last five, but, you know, ain't... I think they played quite a couple of tough teams. Arsenal have only won one in their last five. I know Arsenal are doing well under um, Nick Arteta, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Brighton versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa loses 6-1 at home to Manchester City. Ever uh, Brighton loses 1-0 away to Everton. Um, now this game is important. Um, for a matter of reasons, Brighton are 24 points um, in full teeth, Aston Villa are 21, so that's three point the gap. Um, how do I call this one? Um, Villa won two in their last five, Brighton have only won one in their last five. I'm going to go for a Brighton win because of that 6-1 result previously for Villa and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win I expect a lot of 2-1s um, my next one is Manchester City versus Crystal Palace um, Manchester City beat Leicester Villa 6-1 away from home and um, Crystal Palace drawn 1-1 at home to Arsenal um, I've seen the picture on social media where I wouldn't say it's a similar tackle, but I know what you mean, how is it not a red card? I don't think that was a red card. Um, but, you know, I still think that Bamiyang is a red card. Um, and as far as I know, he's got a free match suspension. Um, with Manchester City, what are they? Uh, about 14 points off Liverpool, so, you know, and Liverpool still got a game in hand as well. Um, I'm going to go for a Man City win anyway, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Manchester City win. My next one is Norwich versus Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth loses 3-0 at home to Watford, and Bournemouth made us. A um, mistake with that first goal conceded. Um, Nor Norwich losing four 0 away to Manchester United. This game is 19th going up against 20th. No team has won in the last five. Um, this game is vitally important for both teams. But I'm going to go for a very average one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Wolverhampton. Southampton beating Leicester City 2-1 away from home. Really revenged for Southampton. Um, that 
nine 0 home, uh, you know, beating against Leicester. So that's a bit of revenge for Southampton there. Um, Wolves only drawn one one at home to Newcastle. Um, this game's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a good game as well. This will be a game my friend would, would like to watch. I'm going to go for a Southampton win, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Southampton win. My next one is West Ham versus Everton. Um, Everton beat Brighton 1 0 at home. Um, penalty shell went down to VAR, it weren't given. I still think it was a penalty. It's contact in the box. As far as I see football, without or with the AI first contact in or outside the box, the, f f the foul should count. Um, you know, whether it's light or whatever, if it's going to be outside the box, why I'm not going inside? That's a question to the Premier League and the Premier League referees. Um, West Ham losing 1 0 away from home to Sheffield United. Um, Everton have won three out of the last five, done well under Carlo Ancelotti. Um, West Ham went only one and two at the last five, and that David Moyes um, honeymoon period seems to be over already. I'm gonna go for an Everton win, and I'm gonna go for a three nil Everton win. My next one is Newcastle versus Chelsea. Chelsea beat Burnley three 0 at home, and um, much need to get back on the winning trail. For Chelsea there, um, Newcastle one one away to Wolverhampton. Um, this game, I mean, Newcastle aren't doing too badly under Steve Bruce. One win out of their last five. Chelsea three wins out of their last five. I know um, Newcastle started playing really well over the past couple of weeks, even though the results. Ain't national um, ain't really said it. I'm gonna go for a two one Newcastle win. My next one is Burnley versus Leicester. Leicester lose a two one at home to Southampton. Burnley lose a three nil uh yeah, three nil away to Chelsea. Um both teams going forward. Um Burnley have only won one in their last five. Um, Leicester sitting in third. Do I think now we're going to give up on the title chase? I think they will. I'm going to go for a bit of a surprise and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Burnley win. My last one for this weekend is a game we'll be looking forward to on the Sunday. It's Liverpool versus Manchester United. Man United beating Norwich 4 0 away from home. Liverpool beating Tottenham 1 0 away from home. So we may not win in at home, Liverpool winning away from home. Um I'm gonna go for another Liverpool win and I'm gonna go for a 3 1 Liverpool win. But anyway guys, so there is a midweek um Premier League schedule after this and that, the, the petitions for that will be uploaded on Monday um, but anyway guys you know what to do you so a big fat fun if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching ciao for now